Hey guys, in today's video, I'll show you how to connect your classroom devices to Aver's panel using Aver's screen share app. So the first thing you want to make sure is that your panel is on the same network as all your devices. And then you're going to want to launch the screen share app from this home screen. And this is typically going to be your SSID network name, but I'm connected to the Ethernet, so it just says Ethernet. And this is actually your unique panel name that you can actually adjust. The first thing you want to do is actually press the gear icon on the bottom right to customize your screen share settings. So here you can actually adjust your panel name and I recommend changing this to your room number, your last name, or something that will differentiate your panel from all the other panels on your network. So here I've named mine. And this second one right here is actually a security feature that lets you manually accept and reject incoming requests. And I recommend this to have this on either 10, 20, or 30 seconds. Uh, just so you can prevent random students from connecting when they're not supposed to. So once that's done, you can see here the list of devices that we support. And you can actually press on these to bring up a guide on how to use or how to connect those devices to the panel. So you see we have our Mac devices, our Apple devices, our Chrome devices, Android, and even Windows 10 devices. So my very first device is going to be an iPad, which is very common in the classroom. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually bring up Control Center. I can do this by having the student uh, pull up from underneath to bring up kind of this menu. And then they will just go to Airplay Mirroring. And then they should say the Aver board name. They tap on it. And this is the security feature I was talking about. You see exactly who's trying to connect. So this says Sun's Aver demo is trying to connect, accept or ignore. So in this case, I'm going to accept it. And here I'm already mirroring my student iPad. And here I can bring up my lesson plan or any images that I'm working on. To stop the screen share, just bring up the control center again and just turn off airplane mirroring and that will stop the request. For Chromebooks, it's very simple as well. You can just go to the bottom right of the Chromebook screen. You will see cast devices available and you see the Averboard name and we're just going to go ahead and press share. So now this says the next device is trying to connect. So I can accept this and here I am projecting my Chromebook to the panel. I can always bring up my annotation overlay with the arrow buttons, pressing on the glass mode to annotate over my wireless screen shared image. And I can always save it here, of course. And once I'm done here, I can go ahead and stop the screen share by going back to the bottom right and just pressing stop. And for Android devices, it's different between devices. But for Windows 10 devices, all you need to do is press on the window P key and press on connect to wireless display and you will see the Averborn name. And that's just how easy it is to actually screen share your classroom devices to the Aver panel. Thanks.